Welcome to the part two of the Smart TV special here on Stuff.TV. Today I'll be looking at View's latest TVs, but more importantly, also figuring out if they are the greatest or not. In the last episode, we discussed a few fundamentals of smart TVs and how they make for a smart purchase decision. Let's take a deeper dive into the two new View TVs that are slated to be the highlights of the holiday season. So I have about three minutes to tell you about how great these View TVs are or how not great they are. That's about the same time factories in China take to roll out a brand new television from the assembly line. That's right, one TV in every three minutes rolls out of a factory in China somewhere in Shenzhen. But here in India, VIEW has a very enviable reputation for making quality TVs, maybe not the cheapest, but they do have tons of features and innovations built in, and these specifically have been designed for India in India. So let's take a deeper dive, shall we? Now, of course, the Pop Smart and the Pixel Light range are 4K televisions, but they are both quite different in their approach. Pop Smart is aimed at the millennial who is always looking for more ways to get content onto the big screen, while the Pixel Light is built for the video file who will take no prisoners when it comes to picture quality. So I've already spent a few hours playing around with both the new View TVs, the Pop Smart and the Pixel Light HDR, and the differences are actually quite stark. Pop Smart is a TV made in India and designed in India for the Indian market and so it has some features which are unique to it. Whereas the Pixel Light is an all-out cinephile's delight. It has HDR which stands for High Dynamic Range and that really makes all the difference in the picture quality even above and over 4K resolution. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and works in a similar fashion to the HDR on your smartphone camera app. It increases the color gamut so not only do you see richer colors but also get better contrast. So the difference between the dark portions and the brightly lit ones is more discernible without the washed out or overexposed picture that is so common on other televisions. It's no secret that no TV looks the perfect or its best right out of the box. So I spent a few minutes just calibrating both these panels and I have to say they look fantastic in any mode. But in the user mode is where actually the details come out and you can extract the maximum performance of any panel. Now these TVs, in fact the Pixel Light HDR for example, can do upscaling from an HD content to 4K. It can also do native 4K and it can do 4K with HDR. Now that's a lot of technology built into the panel. Also what I like about it is it supports USB and it supports even 4K on USB which is what I have been watching the movies on. And it also supports a codec called VP9 or H.265. Now these codecs are very, very advanced because what they do is let you take a complete 4K full length feature film, reduce the file size and yet allow you to stream it or play it directly through USB. And I think that in terms of convenience gets a thumbs up. Another trick to boost the black levels of a panel is to use a local dimming LED panel, like the one on the Pixel Light. This tech works by turning off the backlight for portions of the frame that are darker, thereby boosting the overall picture contrast and making the darker portions of the scene even more detailed. Usually the weakest link in any flat panel television is its sound. And it's just a simple matter of physics. The slimmer and slimmer that you make the flat panel, the less internal volume the speakers have to do their business. And that's why you don't get much bass from most flat panel televisions. What VIEW has done is something very interesting. They've tied up with DBX, which is actually owned by Harman. And what they've done is taken the physics and the principle of a full range loudspeaker, miniaturized it and slapped it in a box into the back of the TV. And thereby you actually get a sense of a full range sound. It's not subwoofer level deep, but you still get a very satisfying and rich full bodied sound that no other TV gets in the market. Using DBX TV, a technology owned by the super giant Harman Group, the VIEW Pixel Light TVs manage to sound a lot bigger than their slim profile would suggest. Using a combination of total volume, total surround and total sonics, this total technology suite of digital signal processing ensures you get crisp clear sound with a pseudo surround effect and more importantly at an even and consistent listening level across all channels or apps. Now it's no secret that people buy smart TVs for their smartness, right? For me personally, what really makes the experience great is the swiftness and the responsiveness of moving around the UI itself. What makes the VIEW TV so special is that the POP smart TV especially, the POP OS has been designed completely in-house by VIEW. So the hardware and the software is so well amalgamated that you don't really have 
any of the jerks and any of the interruptions that you get with other smart TVs. It's just a smooth, fluid experience. And the Pixelite HDR uses the Opera TV OS. And people who have used Opera browsers in the past can actually vouch that this is a very, very fast system. Things like the dedicated buttons on the remote for your favorite apps, the Opera OS that lets you customize the home menu, and the Opera Store from where you can download TV optimized games or apps, it all makes a great case for buying a single smart TV instead of buying add-on external dongles or boxes. The only inclusion I would have liked is 4K support over USB for the Pop Smart models, just like on the Pixelite. Now, over the years, I've added so many different peripherals to my flat panel TV that I've realized that HDMI inputs are just not enough. You can have two, but you always need three. You can have three, but you always need four. These view TVs don't give me any reason to complain, be it USB inputs, be it HDMI inputs, be it optical digital inputs, they are fully loaded. You get four HDMI ports, including one with ARC functionality, and two that comply with HDCP 2.2. So your UHD Blu-ray player or your PS4 Pro can find a mate to tango with. You also get three USB ports in case your friend brings in questionable content for a boy's night out, a headphone out, optical digital out, and a component video input for legacy source players rounds up the connectivity options. Now, truth be told, the View TVs aren't perfect, but they're nothing in life really is, right? Having said that, they do what they do extremely well. The Pixel Lite HDR, for example, it doesn't have Dolby Vision HDR, what I would have really loved, but the HDR 10 is fantastic. It digs out details in the darkest parts of the scene, and the colors are perfectly gauged and never oversaturated. The Pop Smart, on the other hand, it has this brilliant Pop OS which has been conceived, designed and made for the Indian public. And apps like Hangama, Eros and Yep, they just add so much more value on an everyday basis. These are the apps that people want to see and they consume on a daily basis. So overall, I think they are both relatively future-proof. <laughs> That's only if the future doesn't decide to drop in early on us. Until then, I think View has its back covered and I wish them success with both these TVs.